Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Sims 4. Today, we're going to be building ourselves not a small family home, but not necessarily a large family home, and medium family home sounds kind of silly. It's called Eclectic Living, which is an interesting title, considering I'm sure someone's going to say this isn't an eclectic home. But I'll have you know, sir, that Google disagrees with you. I decided to sit down and basically look up some inspiration for builds in The Sims and City Skylines and Planet Coaster, and I've just been looking up inspirational inspirational pictures or something very different to uh, build inspiration. But um, yeah, I, I decided to look up American eclectic homes, and this is heavily based on a picture I found when I searched that, and it's a bit different to what all of the other eclectic homes look like, but I like it. It's it's a nice place, and it does the job. It's got um, two bedrooms, three bathrooms, two of which are... No, it's got, I think it's got four bathrooms. There's one downstairs and like three upstairs. Two of them are en suite, one of them isn't. A uh, little bit, little bit over the top with that, but I really wanted there to be a bunch of ensuite bathrooms, and now that I think about it, it really doesn't make much sense to have four bathrooms in a two-bathroom house, but whatever. It's fine. It's it's okay. Two of them are ensuite, and they're just there because they're fancy. Uh, there's a living room, dining room, kitchen, office, and bathroom downstairs. Upstairs, you have two bedrooms, three bathrooms, and what I'm calling sort of an upstairs living room slash gaming room. Although, I, there's no games consoles in The Sims 4, which is something I would love there to be because it would make doing gaming rooms so much better. Uh, the general layout of the house, I mean, I just sort of... I, I was winging it until I come up with something I, I liked. This sort of big hallway thing downstairs, I, I just like... There's, there's a lot of feature walls in here too, which you'll uh, come to see. But the big hallway down there, that sort of just loops around the living room. The living room is the central room you can see there that we're putting the door on. The room uh, first on your right is an office. The one at the back right is a bathroom. On the left side of the house, we have the dining room at the front and then the kitchen at the back. Then upstairs... Upstairs doesn't actually have any uh, hallways at all. It's it's just sort of a a landing area that you, you come into when you come up the stairs. Then you've got all of the doors around you for the master bedroom, the... I guess, sort of spare slash maybe a kid's bedroom. I don't know. The uh, the spare bedroom has has got a double bed in it, and you could probably get two single beds in there if you really wanted to. It is, it is a family home, and there's a lot of room for renovation. Like I said, four bathrooms is completely unnecessary, so if you wanted to pull one of those apart and turn it into a bedroom, or if you wanted to pull apart the games room and turn that into a bedroom, it's, uh, it's, it's totally something that can be done, and I would encourage you to do so. As with all of my Sims builds, this is available on the gallery, so you can go and download that if you so desire, and mess about with it. And if you do, I would encourage you to uh, share it with the world. I want to see if any of you decide to renovate any of my builds at any point, because that's kind of a cool thing that people do. That's the beauty of The Sims, is that it's actually super easy to, to share things with the world. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're designing the... Not the floor plan. We're doing a lot of uh, work with colors and the floors and stuff like that. I decided to go mostly with a lot of dark woods through the house. The wood on the windows outside is all white. I decided inside we would have dark walls and some dark feature walls and dark wood floors. Just because it feels uh, quite warm, actually. I, I really like it. I like this mix that we have going. The kitchen is actually quite modern. Uh, some of the spaces are kind of modern as well, and then there's just these these hints that this is an older building than it, it sort of looks. Like, you have these super modern bits. The bathrooms are all super modern, also exactly the same design in all of them, because I, I don't think bathrooms are a, a major feature. I mean, they're they're used a lot. It's their bathrooms, but I, I don't think... It's, it's one of those things. People spend so much money, like, in real life, making their bathrooms just look absolutely beautiful, and it's like, who goes into a bath? it's one of those things that, oh, we want it to look good for the guests, it's like, who goes into someone else's house and goes, I was having a great time until I went into the bathroom, and it was awful. I mean, I do that if I go to a restaurant, okay, I, I, I will admit, I was in London recently, went to a, 
Cafe Nero, and the bathrooms were terrible. Like, honestly, honestly, awful. The place was packed, and there were there was one shared bathroom. It was a unisex bathroom, and then there were the disabled, disabled toilets as well, which everyone was going into because there was the one shared bathroom. It was ridiculous. It was terrible. The place was absolutely packed in the middle of London, and they have, like, two bathrooms. It was, it was honestly, honestly terrible. Also, the, the white hot chocolate I got wasn't great. And most of the stuff there wasn't all that, that great. It, it wasn't, it was disappointing, but that was beside the point. The point is, I don't go into someone's house, and my grandmother is terrible for this. She has this idea that if someone comes into the house and it's a bit dirty, they're gonna be judging it. And I can safely say I've never gone into someone's house, seen it a bit dirty, and gone, Oh, these people are savages. I bet they commit cannibalism. Because they probably don't. They're probably just busy and, you know, live there. It's one of those things. It's why all of my houses in The Sims, this one included, have um, a lot of clutter and just miscellaneous items everywhere. Like, plants are off center. There's boxes in places. In the office, there's uh, computer hard drives just under a desk stacked up and it just looks like it's lived in it looks like someone that's used and that's the thing like you go into someone's house that they've been living in for 20 something years and you don't expect it to be spotless if it looks like a show house you're gonna go okay these people this, this house is too clean these people do commit cannibalism so i don't know what, what i'm saying is i i don't know i don't go into someone's house and judge it is what I'm getting at. I do go into restaurants and judge it, though, and my grandmother is terrible for thinking people judge the house. Quite the tangent. Anyway, we're on the kitchen at the minute, and as you can see, I've went with the very basic uh, colors, a nice dark blue for the for two of the walls, and then a uh, sort of white tiles on the floor, and nice big white uh, kind of tile panel things for the walls. I think those came with Spa Day. But uh, I just, I really like that. I, I like the simplicity of the kitchen i like how bright it is even with the dark wall i just i really i like it i like sort of modern kitchens i've never really tried a proper uh, old school kitchen in the in the sims and that's something i think i want to do i want to get back into doing room builds in the sims 4 because the one thing i find i struggle with with in, in houses and i sort of see it in this house and it's sort of reflected in the bathrooms and the upstairs part is I get about halfway through it and I go, I, I've completely lost all track of what I'm doing. Because I, I fill all of these spaces with clutter and mess and make it look lived in and then half of the house is still not done and I'm like, oh, there really are, there's a limited number of things in this game and only a small selection of those are really going to make this house look lived in. The rest of them are going to look weird. So you get to a point where you've sort of used everything you can as clutter and then you're starting to repeat yourself so either i need to make smaller houses or get back into room builds and i kind of like the idea of room builds uh what i do want to mention is i'm adding another table and chairs to the kitchen here because i just that space in the middle was way too empty for my liking and i know we have the big fancy dining room but again you have to add some story to this house and you have to imagine that you know this is owned by a family the much like my grandmother who you know they break out the fancy dining room when guests are over or if it's Christmas. The rest of the time, that table in the kitchen isn't even used. You sit in the living room, watching Coronation Street, eating your dinner. That's that's what people that live in this house would do. Specifically Coronation Street. If not, it's not good enough. Just saying. I don't want none of this EastEnders. That's utter crap. I'm sorry, but it is. It's terrible. Seriously, why do people watch that? Every Christmas, it's all... I used to write, so... <laughs> This, this video is not about The Sims. I'm ranting. I don't care. Um, so when I was in, in my, my first college, I got so bored that I frequently read The Sun, which is the worst newspaper. But I, I would read it online. Like, I didn't give them money. Pfft, please. Um, I, I would read it online. And like in the run up to the, the two Christmases that I that came around while I was in that college, they were constantly talking about East End. By the way, if you don't know what East Enders is, it's a terrible soap opera. Same with Coronation Street. It's not as terrible, but it's still pretty bad. Um, but basically, in the run-up to Christmas, it was like, oh, who's gonna die this year? And 
I don't get it. It's the same every year. You see the same headlines. Oh, this person's probably gonna die. This person's probably gonna die. Happy Christmas, everybody. We're gonna kill off a bunch of characters. I don't get it. I mean, it's, I know it's a ratings thing, but... I mean, it, it's... It's a show that's frequently praised for being daring, and I know they've done some daring plot lines, but then you go back and look at their Christmas plot lines, and it's like, Santa Claus is gunning you down. That, that's, that's about it. I don't know. Anyway, what are we, what are we doing in The Sims today? Uh, well, we're currently working on a bathroom. Uh, is this the first bathroom we've done? I think it is. This is still downstairs. So yeah, this is the first bathroom in the house and can i just say i really like how that sort of this this bathroom looks like the white with the the orange and the bronze and all that stuff in here it just looks really nice i didn't really know if it was gonna work but it it does because they're all sort of i keep hitting the microphone because they're all sort of on the same part of the color spectrum like brown and orange are very close to each other one's just a darker version of the other really it just, it just looks good. I like it. I really do. And then, of course, adding in some green and stuff like that to bring some different colors to it. That's something I absolutely love doing in The Sims, is having this, this space that's very, uh, has a lot of color coordination, like the colors match and stuff like that, and they're very strong and work very well together. And then you throw something ridiculous in there. So you've got these oranges and the browns and all that stuff working really nicely together, and then you throw in like a purple and it just pops. Like it looks, it looks out of place, but not in a bad way. Like you notice it and you acknowledge it, but it's like, oh, that, the more I look at it, that kind of works. So that's, that's, that's a thing that I would, uh, I would encourage in The Sims, apparently, is, uh, dumb interior design because dumb interior design ends up working apparently it works for me i don't know and also there you go you saw me adding in the computer hard drives those aren't actually hard drives like i look at those all the time and i'm pretty sure i think they're listed as computer hard drives or something in the sims those are full pcs they're huge if those are hard drives in the sims then there's some time lord science going on when you put a hard drive in your pc because that's ridiculous those things are, un those are enormous. Just, I'm just saying. Anyway, just finishing off the office with some curtains and stuff like that. I decided to add in the sort of reading corner there, the little reading nook in the, in the corner, because I figure that's something I usually don't do in offices. Mostly because when I think of an office, I usually think of just computer and desks and technology. And... I, I need to stop doing that because for a lot of people an office isn't really that like there is a computer or a laptop But there's also like books and stuff like that And I thought it was a good way to use that sort of corner space like it's it's an L-shaped room So it could have been two rooms, but I decided to keep it one and sort of tie it all together By uh, basically just making it a one part of it is a PC and has a little TV and all that But then the other part is somewhere you can just sit down in a nice comfy chair and read a book if you so desire it's entirely up to you. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we're about to finish up with the office. I, in fact, think we are done with the office, yeah. So we're coming over here to the main hallway in the house, adding some paintings to this nice wood feature wall, which I absolutely love. I love how that looks. I know it's a little bit much brown going on there with the, the floor and the wall sort of matching very closely, but I really, I don't know, I just like it. I really do. I think it's, uh, it's an interesting... Again, sort of call back to maybe it being an older house than it is. I mean, the, the panels are very modern looking. Like, they're very flat panels. I think they also came in spa day. Like, if I used some aged panels or something that looked older or dirtier or whatever, it would look much older. But it's, it's, it's a modern callback to a vintage style. That's what it is. And I didn't just make that up. Not at all. That was part of the design, is what that was. A modern callback to a vintage look. Oh boy. Is it, is it obvious that I still haven't worked out how exactly to best commentate a Sims speed build? Because it really should be. I, I've never worked this out. I don't get why people do it. Like, I watch a lot of people do Sims builds. And these people know what they're talking about. It's like, oh, I did this design, and I did this design, and I thought this would look really good, so I had this idea, and I did this. I just thought it looked cool. 
that's all my that's all my builds ever boil down to. I just thought it looked cool. And uh, anyway, we've moved upstairs. We're working on the master bedroom here, which I decided would have this lovely red sofa in the corner, where you could sit again and read a book and look out the nice grand window we have at the front of the house there. And uh, we're just working on the that's the downstairs bathroom. We're working on the two bathrooms on this side of the house, one of which is an ensuite, the other is this regular bathroom that isn't an ensuite and has a sort of walk-in closet, which I absolutely love. I really would love it even more, though, if those walk-in closets were just like portals, basically. I know it sounds silly, but I think it was... Was it The Sims 3? It was like the map editor or something? I can't remember. I might be making it up. But there were these like portal doors which a sim would walk through and like disappear into a building basically i would like it if the if the closets were sort of like that or maybe a bit smaller because they take up a full tile and i get that they sort of need to but uh i don't know it would be nice whatever the case i did really want to get one of those in there so i went with this one which sort of matches the the brown slash orange aesthetic we have going on with the bathrooms i also added in that orange plum bulb there because i thought it looked really nice and i just wanted some different colored light since those rooms are very, very uh, clean, the lights are very white in there, which I love, by the way. That's that's something I just want to mention. In real life, by the way, not just Sims, white lights are the best thing. Like you're probably thinking, oh, I've got white lights in my house. No, they're slightly yellow. I can guarantee you that. Unless they could be out if they're LED, they're gonna be white. But um, I love like proper white lights in any room because it makes it look like daytime all the time and if you're me you sleep until like 5 p.m so you kind of need that so <laughs> just saying white lights are really really good i love them to bits but uh, i think we're just going in here and just sort of finishing off this master bedroom with a uh, couple of bits of bamboo there those are bamboo shoots right what are that are they i think they might be Whatever the case, uh, they look pretty good in that corner. I thought it, that room needed a bit of green. And that's what I mean. Like, everything in there is sort of white and red with the dark woods. And then you throw in a bit of green with the rug and with the plant. And it just looks good. I uh, I really do like it. But uh, I will say, something I need to do a little bit less in The Sims is uh, match colors as much as I do. Because the blind, the, the curtain in this room is blue. The bed's blue. The chair's blue. And that's a little bit much, I think. I think I went a little bit over the top with getting uh, all of the, the blue colors into this room. It sort of works in the master bedroom. Like, I, I like the idea that a master bedroom sort of has that warm, kind of the red colors in there and all that stuff. It's it's almost very traditional, uh, maybe more of a stereotype or a, I don't know. It's kind of your typical master bedroom is, in my mind, usually a lot of red, but usually a darker red than the one we have there. But it's fine. It's fine. It works. It does the job. And uh, just adding in some cabinets there and a chair to the corner. I thought the cabinet worked really well at the top of the stairs. Just a nice collection of fine china. Which, again, if you're like my grandmother, you only use if guests are over or if it's Christmas. I'm ser seriously, th there's, I have, I understand it, but at the same time, I don't. I've never understood the whole, the notion of like, the fine china is not to be used until this particular time. It's a, why? Why do we have all this fancy stuff that we don't use, but we make people think we're fancy because we use it when they're here? I don't get, I mean, I get it. You know, you make people think you're fancy, but I mean, you spend like two minutes with me and you know I'm not really fancy. I'm kind of, I'm not. So I just, I just don't get it. I've never got it. Like, I know it's not just my grandmother that does it. It's, it's kind of a, one of those typical things that no one really talks about. It's that like everyone has the, the things they do when guests are over to appear more fancy to the guests than you actually are. And I just want to mention, by the way, if you have any interesting stories about that kind of thing, I would love to hear them because I just find it hilarious. I really do. But I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. It's we're going to make these people think we're fancy for no other reason than to make them think we're fancy. It's, it, it boggles the mind. Anyway, we've come, come to the outside of the house here, just doing a nice pathway up to the uh, front door. Not the best pathway in the world. I Landscaping is not my strong point. I will say it's been a while. Like, since the last speed build, the modern bachelor pad, 
I haven't played The Sims since then. I've been doing a lot of things. I've been playing The Division. I've been playing a lot of Planet Coaster. This was my first time jumping into The Sims in a couple of weeks. So the landscaping's a bit off. I'm not too happy with that. It looks all right. It does the job. It's it's just not as good as I would have liked. I, I think this is something I, I will spend some time working on. Is, uh, is landscaping in general. Because, you know, I want it to be... I want it to be good. So eventually, hopefully, it's... uh. It will be good. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, ladies and gents, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. We're going to be going into some screenshots very shortly, which will uh, show the house off in all its glory. Of course, we're going to have my typical sim uh, showing off all the builds. I think this the sim's called Larry Lawrence or something like that. I don't know. Or Lawrence. No, it's, it's something like that. And I'm pretty sure for the whole thing he was wearing his uh, pajamas, which I didn't realize until I took all the screenshots. So that was absolutely excellent. I was a little bit quick off the mark there on the screenshots. They're not for another little while. I say they're not for another little while. They're right now. So there you go, the shot of the living room, which looks absolutely wonderful. Another alternative, alternative shot of the living room there from the other angle. We have the kitchen, which I loved a bit. And you might notice the color scheme of the chairs I went with there. Uh, I'm sure you can possibly pinpoint where that's from. Anyway, that is, in fact, going to be it for today. The rest of the screenshots are going to play as I do my outro. So if you like the video, like the video. If you have any suggestions for things you would like to see me build in The Sims 4 or any game at all, do feel free to leave those in the comments below. But whatever the case, that is going to be it for today. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been The Sims 4 and Eclectic Living, according to Google. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.